The Columbia community is pitching in to help a family impacted by a devastating apartment fire. Four-year-old Tania Pate and seven-year-old Janisha Washington were killed in the fire on Wednesday. ABC 17's Abigail Landwehr learned more today about what sort of efforts are underway to support the family. And Abigail, there was a vigil held earlier tonight. Hannah, the vigil was private, so we were asked not to attend, but families and friends came to pay their respects for the two girls. I spoke with the company that manages the Columbia Square Apartments about volunteering that's going on to help the family. Some of the stuff's come from families at Columbia Square, and it's amazing. A lot of them don't have much, but they're willing to give, you know, to be generous with what they do have. Bob Schock with Yarko says the community donated clothing items, Grubhub gift cards, air mattresses, toothbrushes, and that list goes on. Thanks to donations and help from the Red Cross, the hotel room that the family is staying in is covered too. If you can imagine, you don't even know what way to turn um, in an instance like that. We're there um, providing that immediate assistance and then helping to do some case management so that the days and weeks following that they can recover. Phoenix family is organizing donation efforts to the Columbia Square Emergency Fund. It's appreciated. And the family's going to continue to need that, not to mention, you know, the thoughts and prayers of everybody that's been offering it. I know the family needs that kind of support, spiritual or otherwise. Doc tells me funeral costs have also been covered by a donor. If you're interested in donating to the Columbia Square Fund, there is a link on our website.